On International Day of Women and Girls in Science, there are calls for more action to address the significant gender imbalance in STEM fields in Australia. Women are still grossly underrepresented in science and engineering, with many reporting bias and ongoing barriers. Fueling the flames of curiosity was never difficult for a young Dr Nushin Nasiri. As you can see, this is the same substrate that I showed you. Her father encouraging a critical mind. He is the one who planted the curiosity seeds in me. He taught me to not simply accept anything as a fact, but look for a reason. Now her lab is leading the way in nanoscale materials for health, energy and the environment. So we make these uh, sort of nanoparticles. But while she's bucked the trend as a leading female in science, the STEM playing field remains woefully imbalanced. As a female researcher, I still face lots of these unconscious bias and stereotyping, which I see them as a barrier. Gender barriers which advocates say need to come down here. So heterozygous means that we've In school, science, tech, engineering and maths classrooms. Programs that are specifically aimed at girls to get girls in. And I think it's also great when we can see scientists in industry that are female to show girls that that's something that they can aspire to. It's not touching it. And the message is getting through. I feel like we should definitely encourage women to enter the field and consider pursuing careers in it as much as possible. Despite the keen interest in science in this classroom, studies show girls are less interested and less confident when it comes to STEM subjects in school. And when asked what kind of career they'd like to have in the future, half as many female students aspire to the sciences compared to the boys. Girls enrol in Year 12 science and tech at much lower levels than boys. That means there are fewer completing STEM subjects at university, particularly engineering. And so women make up less than one-fifth of STEM qualified adults in the workforce. Research shows from the age of six years old, um, young girls in fact switch off. Um, from considering an, a large number of STEM careers because they consider those to be male occupations. So we've really got to break down those um, barriers. With change also needed in the boardroom. Get organisations to do gender audits so that we don't just attract girls into STEM, but we also retain and progress them. To transform the STEM workforce of the future. Darren Mara, SBS World News.